I started doing research for myself and my girls as we started looking for someone to walk in honor of. Um, we all found different great, great, great grandmothers who had pulled or pushed hand carts across the plains and they all had very different circumstances and they were all very hard. And I think it reminded us, hey, we have ancestors who really did this. And so to only come out for three days, we're eating well, we're having fun, we have everything around us that we need. But um, it helps us remember that they didn't have that and it helps us remember that we have really strong women behind us have to have a good attitude with everything you're doing because you are being pushed to your limits physically and mentally and you just can't stop. But if you're able to keep a good attitude, then it's a good bonding experience with the people around you and it can be really fun. I have a connection to an ancestor that um, she came here from Denmark when she was 17 and that's how old I am. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to come out and experience a little bit of what she experienced and spend a good time walking. I think the hardest part definitely is your attitude because without your attitude being positive, everything just seems so hard. It seems difficult to even take another step. My family, my Trek family, they're always so positive and they always help us to get through things and if we are having hard troubles, they'll always be there. A little sunburnt, a little worn out, but it's good. I love it. Good experience. Hard to you, this journey may appear Grace shall be as your day I'm glad I pushed through it and just tried to drink more water. <laughs>just the amount of miles that we're doing. There, there comes a point in the afternoon where they feel like they've done as much as they can do, but we've still got more to go. And I think they're understanding that they can do more than they think they can. I never really understood, or I still don't understand, but I'm getting a taste of it, of what they went through, because they've just experienced so much hardship and, <coughs> and really trying times. And it's, it's neat to see everybody kind of pull together and to, well, literally pull together, but also to, to join together. Our pioneers, when they came across, there were a lot of times when there was not a lot to eat and the the men would give the women and the children in the family their food and then slowly starve to death. And then that left the women to carry on without them. So the women's pull is, it honors both the men who sacrificed so that the women could win, but also the women that can do amazing things. A neat experience to walk up the hill and see all the guys just standing there with their hats on their hearts. It's just a really cool experience. I just thought about like all the sacrifices that the pioneer women had to make, so that made it easier, but it was pretty hard. We pulled up one of the biggest hills that we've gone up, and it was definitely challenging, but it was also a rather good spiritual experience because it helped us feel closer to the, those ancestors, particularly our female ones, just like me. And it also helped us appreciate the help that we have from these men a lot more. We're also going to have Pony Express writers uh, that'll be coming out uh, with letters that were written by their parents. And uh, they've been put in an old fashioned envelope and are stamped. And uh, the kids will have an opportunity at a point on the trail where they will be able to read these letters from their parents. They put all their personal items in a five gallon bucket. Um, that way, as the weather changes, they're able to keep things dry. It's so beautiful here. It's a really good place to walk if you're gonna come walk 26 miles. <laughs> It's great for us to be able to come out to a location that's so close to, to where we live 
Um, logistically, it, it's so easy for us. Um, great that the BLM is um, very cooperative with us to be able to allow us to come out here and, and utilize our public lands and utilize the resources that belong to everyone. To encourage these youth, these young men and young women, and remind them how strong they are. I think they often get caught up in media and what their friends are doing or aren't doing, and I think it's really good for them to come out and just be out with no distractions and just have, you know, the beautiful landscape around them and it really helps them and gives them a chance to refocus. Get an idea or a feel, at least, a small measure of what the pioneers and what the history of our church experienced as they came out here uh, to the Salt Lake Valley. Let it go! <laughs> Let it go! <laughs>